In this presentation, we are going to look at weighted graphs as part of our graph theory series. Now, in particular, what we're going to do here is to write the adjacency matrix for the following weighted graph. Okay, so we have six vertices there. Uh, they are all uh, have degree three. And so what we're going to do is write out the adjacency matrix uh, for these. And on the adjacency matrix, rather than the fact that they are connected or not connected, what we're going to do is the weighting. Uh, we're going to indicate the weighting of the um, between e of the edge between each vertex. Verte vertex. So v1, v2, v3, v4, v5, and v6. Not exactly necessary to put in the row names and column names of a adjacency matrix, but it actually just is helpful when you're just getting started. Uh, again, V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, and V6. Okay, so let's look at vertex one. It's not connected to itself, okay, zero there. It is connected to vertex two, and therefore we're going to put a two there because the weighting of that um, edge is two. So it is uh, the entry for the adjacency matrix is two. It's not connected to vertex three, so we're going to have a zero there. Now it is connected to vertex four, and just you have to be, just be a little bit careful when you're reading the graph that this uh, edge here has is vertex four. So I'm just going to sort of indicate which of these are connected to which. So that three is there is connected to that edge, that tree there is connected to that edge, and that four there is connected to that edge. So that is the um, weighting from uh, V1 to V4. So there's a four there. So the next thing we're going to do is, is it connected to V5? No, it's not. Uh, what about V6? Yes, it is connected to V6 with a weighting of eight. Okay. Now we've seen previously that V1 and V2 are connected to each other uh, with, uh, with the edge of um, that has w uh, weight two. And that actually works in reverse. So V2 is actually connected to V1 the same way. Again, it's the one right up here at the, up at the top. And in fact, they all are. So what I'm actually going to do right now, to save time, is I'm going to sort of uh, write this row, the first row along the first column, because the, the, uh, there's a symmetric uh, quality of what we're doing here. 0, 2, 0, 4, 0, 8. So as the symmetric quality means if V1 is connected to V4, that means V4 is connected to V1. And if V5 is not connected to V1, V1 is not connected to V5, and so on. So we have the first one there for V2. So we're just going to work on the second row now here. And we have the first one for V2. It's also connected to V3. Uh, it's not connected to itself, so 0 there. And it's also, it is connected to V3. Uh, with this uh, 5 here. So 5, it's not connected to V4, 0. It is connected to V5 with that edge of uh, weighting 3, this one here. So that is a 3 and a 0. It's not connected to V6. And again, what we can do is write the second row along the second column. So we already have the first two entries there, so that we just have to uh, com complete it. 5, 0, three zero and again it's to, to do with the symmetric quality of an edge if v1 is connected to v2 then v2 is connected to v1 so v3 we've already got v it's not connected to v1 it is connected to v2 with a degree five with an edge of weighting five it's not connected to itself it's connected to v4 with a weighting of an edge uh, weighting of seven it is not connected to v5 but it is connected to V6 with an edge with, with weight 3. And once again, write that along the bottom, or along the, the, the column, the third column. They, that sh things work out, um, start to uh, work very quickly once you uh, recognize that symmetry uh, quality. Now we're going to look at V4. It's connected to V1 with a weighting of 4, V2 with no uh, edge. And it's connected to V3 with a weighting of 7. It's not connected to itself. It is connected to V5, so we have a 2 there, because the weighting is 2, and it's not connected to V6. Once again, 2 and 0. 
Now, V5, it's not connected to V1. It is connected to V2 with a weighting of 3. Not connected to V3. It is connected to V4 with a weighting of uh, 2. It's not connected to itself, so we're going to put in a 0 here. And finally, it's connected to V6 with a weighting of 6. And again, we'll put in 6 here. And finally, V6, the only thing uh, we have to do now is V6 connected to itself. No, it's not. So that is the adjacency matrix for the weighted graph. What I'm going to do now is just sort of present the answers a bit clearly, more clearly. There is the uh, uh, adjacency matrix there with the proper notation for the A of G as well. So that's what the answer uh, should look like. Okay, and in terms of proper presentation, the V1, V2 thing, uh, uh, I don't know, at the top of the last slide was just to sort of help guide the eye those uh, column names and row names they were just had to help guide the eye they're not actually really necessary okay that ends our presentation